Hi, in this video, I want to take you through more of the AEC tool that you find inside AbbeyCAD 2025, which we just released at the beginning of June of 2024. AbbeyCAD is a lot like AutoCAD. Those users that have AutoCAD will appreciate the fact that AbbeyCAD has a lot of the same tools you'll find, plus a lot more for about a quarter of the price. So let's get started on our project. This is going to be a two-story small house, and I just wanted to show you how to create walls and windows and use the level manager here and we'll draw some stairs and then we will put a roof over the uh, top of the model. One huge advantage to the AEC module is that as you input in 2D, it's actually generating the 3D as you go. So let's start out by going into the top view and then we'll come up here to our wall utility. We'll choose exterior wall. Right now we have a four inch wall you can see down here and height is at eight feet. So this is where you adjust these two settings. Zoom up a little bit here and we'll start our wall. We need to turn on our ortho mode, which is down here. The other thing you want to look at is the justification. And here we're going to be working from right to left. So we want the uh, right justification turned on. So we'll put the first point of our wall in here. I'm going to zoom up quite a bit here. I'm going to come over uh, 17 feet and we're going to come down 19 feet, four inches. I'm just typing this in my tooltip window there. Then we need to go over 11 feet. We're going to come up 10 feet and then we're just going to hover over this line here. And as we hold it down, we see the end point and then we drag it down this way. You can barely see that line there, but that's basically telling you that it's straight and then you can left click and then type C for close. Now let's create uh, some windows and doors. Let's start with the doors and we're going to put a entry door in here. We also have the ability to swing it inwards and outwards. Let's type in one foot six in here and then we'll press enter. If we want the door to swing over this way, you can simply click on this arrow here to swing it the other way. That's just something you're gonna be able to use on your windows, doors, stairs, whatever. So let's put in some windows now. We'll click on windows here and go ahead and position the window in here like so. We'll type in three foot two, tab and enter. Let's just put a couple of more windows in the living area down here. Click on this wall here. Let's make this a five foot window. And then we can just position it by tabbing again, one foot six. I've got a few more windows to put in. So I'm going to speed up the video so you don't have to watch me do every single one. Let's Let's come up into our levels manager here and we're going to add a new floor. It automatically adds the floor name and the bottom elevation looks good and so does the top, but you can change these if you need. We'll just say okay. And we're going to go into level two and then I'm going to draw the, the second story on top of the first. We'll go into our walls and we'll just trace over our lower floor. Like so. Press C for close. Let's draw another wall going across here. We need to justify left on this one. Now, once we've done that, we can isolate the floor two just by clicking here. Again, if these walls are not cleaning, just go and use the arrow like so. Let's just draw another wall in here and unisolate the layers now. And then I'll show you how to use the level freeze here. So if we want to freeze the first floor, We'll just choose this and then choose the freeze. And that leaves us with the second floor. Let's put in some uh, doors in here. So we'll just choose the door option and we're gonna do a pocket door. We're gonna choose the wall. Then we'll tab and we'll type in two foot six, enter. And we can put a pocket door down here too. Notice I didn't have to restart the command. I just kind of drug my cursor over and then it immediately starts drawing. I'm going to go ahead and flip this one so they both open the same way. So I'll click this and then I'll click this little arrow here to flip it to the other side. 
Next, let's put in some windows. I'm going to speed through this just like before. Let's have a look at the model. So we come up here into the view tab. We'll go into the Southwest Astrometric View and you can see the second floor there. I think we're going to need another window here. So let's just put one in. So we'll just select this wall and then we'll type in four feet. So let's go into the level manager and let's just thaw these layers here. So there's our first floor and floor. Now let's go back into the top view. We need to put another room in here. Let's go into the floor one level and we'll create a wall and we'll hover over the corner here and we'll come down four feet and we'll just put a wall in here, stretch it over. Again, we need to just kind of flip this thing around, clean it up and we should be good to go with that. We may want to stretch this down another eight inches. Now we're going to put a stair in this corner here. We'll come up to the stair utility. We'll choose quarter landing stair. Notice down here we have some options which we can change. Let's put a three foot stair in here and our tread. We want our tread to be nine and a half. We can put the stair anywhere in the room here. We'll just start a few risers and then press enter. Now we're going to move this stair into the corner. If we want, we can adjust the riser so that they're more on this side versus up here, because we really don't have much room up here. Remember we have a door upstairs, so you can push and pull the stair. How do you need it? Let's have a quick look at our stair just to check it and it looks like it's not quite high enough. What we can do is click on the stair, come over to our properties palette. Let's change this to nine foot. As you can see, what we need to do is add more treads at the lower end. So let's go into the top view and pull the stair back a little bit. That may get in the way of our window, but I don't think so. Let's check it again. And looks like we're pretty close. We'll just reduce the size of it by, let's say, six inches. And we'll do the same for this window here. So now that we have our stair in there, let's go ahead and create our floor. We're going to type in the polyline command and we're going to start out at the stair here. And we're just going to simply trace over the floor plan just to get the points in. This is just a construction line that's going to help us when we create our floor slab. We'll come over at each point. And let's come down here. We'll snap over this and then come back up and then type C for close. If we go into our 3D view again and we move, type the M command and type the L command for last, you can see that line is selected. Press enter and then we move it from the base here to the base here. And we'll, we'll type in a lay ISO isolate and you can see here is our floor we've got a little bit of an issue there that i see so let's, let's just use the boundary command to fix that and we'll pick the internal points and we'll press enter i believe the distance here is one foot yeah so let's just erase this one at the bottom and we're just going to extrude this let's just pick everything and type in extrude ext and we're going to do that at a minus one foot. And now we can subtract that area from the other with the SU command to subtract. We'll pick the solids to subtract from, which is this one, enter, and then we'll pick the solids here to subtract. And that's going to make that hole for us. Remember, we've isolated this layer with the lay ISO. We need to do the lay on ISO, and that's going to bring back the lower floor. So now let's work on the porch area. So let's the the second floor and kind of have a look here at what we got. It's centered around here. I'm going to go ahead and put a real quick roof on here. So I'm going to come up to the roof command and snap over this point here. If I want, I can select the roof and adjust different things in the properties palette. 
such as the overhang. Let me just put the overhang in at 12 and that's it. If we want, we could just put a porch out here. Again, I'm going to use the rectangle command and just do an extrude, string it down minus four inches. A couple of things we could do, it to, we'll create a post here at the, the end of this. We'll just do a one foot by one foot post and we'll extrude, extrude this up eight feet. Since this is a solid, we could move this out and create like a short move out of this. Let me show you how to do that. So if we go into the 3D tools tab and we come down here and we select move faces, we can select this face here, enter, and then give it a start point. And then we could type in, let's say one foot. That's just going to move it out and then come back here and move this face as well from here to here. Then quickly, I'm going to show you how to go into the railing utility here. And here you have several different types of railing. If for the start, we'll just put a point in here, press enter. And then we could just move this railing here by the grip there and then just set it against the wall. So let's have a look at the model we've done so far. We've got all our windows, doors in, roof on. We've done this in about 15 or 20 minutes. The tools allow us to get this inputted very quickly. We could have put a roof here, but I didn't want the video to get too long. If we wanted to quickly have a look at the different levels, we could go into the level manager and then we could, let's say, freeze the second floor and then just kind of view it as we need. I see that we missed our opening. Let's select this wall here and then we'll left click and we'll choose isolate objects just so that we can see the wall by itself and then we can come up into the doors utility and we can put an opening in here so let's just make that so that it's uh, one foot away from the corner we'll go ahead and exit and then we can just un unisolate objects bring that back and then again as a review if we wanted to freeze the floor one here and then turn on the floor one here and then unfreeze that, maybe we want to freeze the roof here. Then we can have a look at, you know, what we did on our second floor level. So I hope this video has been helpful and feel free to email or call me. My number is 888-271-7121. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.